Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says find the derivative of x square minus 2 at x equal to 10. Before starting with the solution, let us see the key idea behind the question. That is the theorem 7 of your book that says that let fx be equal to a n x raised to power n plus a n minus 1 x raised to power n minus 1 and so on till a1x plus a0 be a polynomial function where ai's are all real numbers and an is not equal to 0. Then derivative function is given by dfx by dx is equal to n into anx raised to power n minus 1 plus n minus 1 into an minus 1 x raised to power n minus 2 and so on till 2a2x plus a1. Now if we clearly see what we have done in this question is we have found the derivatives of all the terms and we have added them. For example in the first term we see that an is a constant part so it remains as it is. Derivative of x raised to power n with respect to x is n into x raised to power n minus 1 and so on for the second term. Now the last term we see that this is a constant derivative of a constant is 0. So in the last term we have 0. So this is how we get this theorem. Using this theorem we find the derivative of x square minus 2. So let us start with the solution to this question. First of all let fx be equal to x square minus 2. We have to find derivative of fx with respect to x that will be equal to 2 into x minus 0. This happens because we see that derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x because derivative of x raised to power n is n into x raised to power n minus 1. Here n is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 which is same as 2x. Derivative of constant is 0 so we have 0 here. So derivative of fx with respect to x is equal to 2x. Now we have to find the derivative at the point x equal to 10. So dfx by dx at the point x equal to 10 will be 2 into 10 and that is equal to 20. So our answer to this question is 20. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.